These animals are extraordinarily cognitively complex. So when you imprison a chimpanzee, the chimpanzee understands that tomorrow he's going to be in prison. And as far as he knows, it's not going to end. What we're trying to do is change the way people view non-human animals. Because right now, it's are you a human? You have rights. You're not a human, you don't. And we're saying that's wrong. Now to a bizarre lawsuit with big implications, and the key question is whether a chimp is a person. Tommy is a legal thing right now and has a right to get out of being held for his entire life in a cage. When I began, people laughed at me and they barked when I went into a courtroom. They are not human beings, and putting them well, on the same legal standing as a human being, that's, uh, that's insanity. So we may be coming to you to help us in filing an affidavit, talking about the cognitive abilities that would persuade courts. Question, visitors have balls. Oh my god. Merlin died last night. Captivity, it's just killing these guys. So we need to locate every surviving chimpanzee in New York State and file a suit on their behalf. Someone told me you had a monkey. There's a chimp in there. He's got TV to watch. Yeah, he won't do much. He just sits there. May it please the court. Tommy is indeed a person who is entitled. You assert he's a person. We haven't decided that. All we can do is kick the first door open. Mr. Wise, you want to come to our court and ask for a right that's never been granted in the history of humankind. It's a hell of a war. It's going to be a lot of battles in the war. But it's time to begin.